and connection failed. <laughs> and we'll try that again. Good morning all. Morning. It's probably because I'm too close to it. I'll move away. Morning guys. Um, kettlebell session number three. Uh, so we did one the first week, then we skipped the week, and we did one last week, didn't we? Yeah? Ooh, just blurring into one. Um, right guys, we started the first week with some really basic moves, then we progressed those moves on a little bit, and then today we're going to progress them on a little bit again. Alright, so um, don't worry if there's some of these movements that you are unfamiliar with or you can't do. Alright, just keep practicing them, give them a go, some of them are a little bit more complicated than the kind of more basic two hand swings and things like that. Um, if you've got quite a lot, a heavy kettlebell, just do as many as you can on that kettlebell. Alright, um, I'll try and give you regressions of certain exercises um, and ultimately there's a couple of exercises like Turkish get up where you can just use your hand. Yeah, actually getting up and down off the floor is quite um, taxing on its own. If you're wondering why I've got yellow fingernails, it's because of the turmeric <laughs> satay dish we did last night and then they just won't go. <laughs> right. We're going to get straight into this because I think I said before the kettlebell kind of warms you up as soon as you kind of get into it. Right? So we don't really need to stop as such to do any sort of major warm up because this will progress as we go through. So I'm going to start the first exercise all on my right hand. Okay. As soon as I then go to my left hand, Hannah's going to jump in. So there'll be an overlap um, and, and, a, and a rest period. So then when Hannah's finished, I'll start again on the right hand. Okay. So I'll demonstrate first guys as I always do. I'll do a couple of the exercise and then we'll get into the reps. Which we're hips, one, snap those hips, two, easy as that, I'm going to go for 15, as soon as I've done my 15 on the right hand it's going to start, out of interest and I'm holding the 12, she's holding the 10, work with what you've got guys, alright, so if you can't do, if you've got a particularly heavy weight just go to failure, if you've got a light weight just do what you can do, because you can't really slow kettlebell movements down can you, unfortunately, right, okay, 15s, let's go, snap, one, two, nice work, so I just started light, Three. On my second set, I might push that up a bit. Four. I'm going to do four sets today. Five. Six. So my right and left arm, seven, is a set. Eight. Got to really engage those core muscles now. Nine. I can feel those pulling already. Ten. I've got five on that right arm, then hand's going to go. That's four. Three. Two. And one hand is going on, changing arms. Get in step. Four. Five. Nice work, guys. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Last five for me. Last five on your right if you're with Hannah. Nine. Two. And I'm resting. Hannah's going into the second hand. Okay, I'm going to get slightly heavier weight, now that I feel I've got that, okay, I feel comfortable with what I'm doing, I'm going to push it up a little bit, and so is Hannah, she doesn't realise, she's going to go up a little bit as well. Cool, let's see who we've got, morning Stuart, Georgia Jones, ah, we've got our regulars, I like it, morning Anna, Gemma, Karen, Lewis, get on Lewis, he's got his kettlebell out, his new shiny toy. Morning Mullins, mate get on that satay from last night, it was lush. Morning Katie, morning Dave, Sarah, morning Wendy, we've got Wendy with us this morning. You stopped somewhere random Wendy with a kettlebell at the side of a road somewhere. Morning Tara and morning Dan. Right, straight back into it then guys, right hand, I'll up that to a 20. Three, try and keep your chest up, four, right, at no point do you want to be Fully looking at the floor. Five, six, engage core, seven, and drive those hips. We're going to start engaging those glutes now as well. Eight, nine. Good, last five on my right, then Hannah's going to go. Four, three, two, good, nice work. I'm away on the left knee. Good. Ah. Two, 
10. Great stuff. Last five for me. Four. Three. Two. And nice work doing this left hand of the hammer. A bit chilly out here this morning. The warmest it's been. Morning Mandy. Morning Dave. Hugh. Mum or Scott, don't know which one of it is, you were, is Shelley. Look at that, I've got my mum and Scott and then my cousin below. Lovely. Good, how many? Good, guys, last five of you with Hannah. Get ready to go if you're with me. And last five on my right. Three, two, and good. Go to my left. With me, we've got one set left. Morning, Dill. Morning, Graham. Morning, Laura. How are we all doing, guys? Good, hands, nice work. Good, I've got five to do on my right. Four, good work. Three, two, and lovely change. One, two, three, four. Good, guys, five. struggling to do the pull and push on this one, okay? Just regress to a one-hand swing, okay? All on the same arm. Okay, then we'll go into the other arm. We'll do the same as what we did just a minute ago. I'll work for 15. As soon as I change hands, and then we'll join in. 
I'll rest until she's finished, okay? But ultimately, what we're trying to do is swing the kettlebell between the legs, okay? And then we're trying to keep the elbow up high, pull it, push it. So let your preload in the punch, and then punch in the hand out. Elbow high, pushing back out. So you've got to keep the, the kettlebell as an extension of your arm, okay? Otherwise, when you pull and you haven't got that grip properly, the kettlebell's going to come over the top and hit you on the arm, okay? It's not going to hurt much, but after 15 times, four sets, it's probably going to be grumbling. Okay, so if I stand side, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to swing, pull, push. Swing, pull, push. So see how I'm keeping that elbow high, it's pulling my, my back muscles into engagement, right? And then I'm tight, keeping that nice and solid, then pushing it straight out, just letting it drop. Just letting it drop. Okay, I'll go front on. So, swing, pull, push. Swing, pull, push. Okay, let's go through. We're going to go 15 reps. Like I said, if you're fine, if you've got your kettlebell's too heavy and you can't control that kettlebell, just simply go for a one hand swing. All right, loose pull and push. Right, we'll work on it another time. Okay, ready in three, two, one, I'll go for 50. Two, three. Good, I really feel that bob in my rhomboid muscles, my back muscle. Six, I'm really trying, trying to pinch them together. Seven. You should really feel it, start pulling in your torso as well, your core. Five. Good, I've got four on that arm. Hand ready. Three, two, and one. Nice work, go. Two. Really squeeze that back muscle. Four, before you release it. Five, that's it. Keeping that wrist nice and strong. Six. Ten. Nice work. We're going for five, and I'm resting. Hands going to crack off the other arm. Four, three, two, and I'm resting. Hands working. Good. That's it. Really power it out. <coughs> like you're throwing a punch at me. Oh, that now she's got a bit more venom in it. Morning, Zoe Deacon. How are you? Morning, Rich. Morning, Laura. We'll be doing this session tomorrow morning. No worries, Laura. Who's saying morning? Hannah's a machine. Yeah, she is at Pip. Good, guys. She's an ironing machine. <laughs> Good. Okay, right arm, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, good. Five. Yeah, I've got ten on my right. Eight. No sign of any children this morning. Ten. That's five. Four. Brady's catching flies. Very last time I saw. Two. And one. Nice work. That's all they want to know at night time. We've got to do hit in the morning. Yes, you have. The um, prep kitchen today. <coughs> 260 meals to prep. Morning, Pete, Pretty Bruce. How are you doing? Morning, Ruth. Morning, Nadaz. We're trying to keep in time for you, Nadaz. I know you like us in time. Keep that elbow high, man. Good. Yeah, 260 meals today. Um, some of those donated by Plymouth Brown Table, um, Young Devon. So um, supporting uh, the young homeless guys, so that'd be, that'd be a good day. Two. Looking forward to getting the cook on. So, we won't be there tonight guys, five. Doing our live cook tonight. Six, we might not be back from the kitchen, seven, in time. Eight, nine. However, we'll be back on Wednesday, ten with a salmon dish, that's five guys. Four, which I'll get that recipe up today. Three. Two, so if you want to follow it, and one. Nice work, change. 
with a creamy sun-dried tomato salmon dish. Five, if you didn't follow, or if you haven't seen six last night's satay, what did you say, Hannah? Yeah, it was amazing. Four. Went down well with the juice as well. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough for me to take for lunch today. It all got polished off. Keep that elbow high as it goes. Just as you start to fatigue, I was just saying the hand had to keep her elbow high there. As you start to fatigue, the elbow tends to drop, right? And that can be a little bit, um, it's not a good position for the shoulder. That's the best, best way to put it. Puts the shoulder, shoulder in a vulnerable position and I cringe a little bit. Obviously got having screws in my shoulders. Morning, Julie. Morning, Katie. Good, how's how many? Two left. Good guys, if you're with me, go into your third set. Let's rock and roll. I'll tell you what. Before I go, I'm going to go for that 12 this time. I'm feeling quite comfortable with that exercise now. Let's go for it. It's going to set hands in it. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Nine. Get them on ten. So last five. Get ready if you're working with Hannah. Four. Three. Two, good, I'm changing on the swing and straight into it, seamless. Two, three, oh, four. It's a good job you can't see what we can see. Five, two, six. We have a naked brody still at the window. Nine, ten, good, last five. Change with you with Hannah. <laughs> Very good. At least he's brought his book down with him. Good, guys. So you've got one set left if you're with me. One set to do if you're with me. Creation. If you would have cooked more in this last week, you have done for the rest of your marriage. I've completely lost count. Three, two, and good. I'm resting. Hannah's last little bit on that one. Okay, we're going to go for a lateral lunge and push on the next one. So, a leg exercise into a shoulder exercise. Morning, Lucy. Good, guys, looking really good. Remember all these stay up on the page and on YouTube and Kate's slowly starting to put them on um, onto Instagram as well. There's lots of different platforms that you can follow it on in your own time. How many? How many? Good. Right guys. Gonna, oh. Right, so I'm going to go for a lateral lunge, right? Meaning, I'm going to put the kettlebell down towards my left foot, okay, and then the other week we did a lateral raise with it, yeah, so working the shoulder joint. What we're going to do today is a push, so out there. So you're going to get a nice good grip hold of it, right, I've gone between the handle and the horn, right, so these are the horns, this is the handle, so I've taken the, the right in the middle, okay, and I'm pushing the base, so the bottom of the kettlebell, 
Out to the side, one. Two. Okay? You've got a heavy one. If you've got a heavy one, just go there. Yeah, lose the push, you're still getting the lateral raise, all right? So if your kettlebell's too heavy to get the push going, then reduce that down, regress that, all right? I'll go front if you go back, okay? I can start the kettlebell on my right hand, go into my left foot, push it out to the right, and then I'll swap and handle join in like we've been doing, okay? Three, two, one, all the way. That's me five. Ten. Feel like John Travolta. Twelve. Good. Last three. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. Changing hands. Changing feet. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Leave it. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. Ah. Yeah, tough of that. Good, change the size. So guys, another regression of that. You can simply go with your hand. Yes, yeah, so you just punch your nose, right? Well that one definitely got me warmed up. Morning Donna. Morning Bernice. Morning Lee. Bumped into you yesterday, mate. How are you doing? I was looking for a whole grain pasta, mate, but there weren't any there. Morning, Natalie, Colin, Casey, and Ben. Good hands, nice work. Uh, last five for me. Good, I'm resting. They are particularly tough, guys. So if you're struggling with those, don't be. You're not alone. Yeah, you're not alone. Don't be surprised. That's a tough exercise. <coughs> Morning, Dean. How you doing, bud? Morning, Chris. Gemma, use your lighter dumbbell. Yeah, perfect, guys. So just as Gemma's done there, if you have the option of a lighter dumbbell, I'll be joining you, Gemma, in a minute. So have us on a six kilogram kettlebell at the minute. And that's tough. It's not tough on the legs so much, it's more the shoulders. The legs are bigger muscles, they'll cope with it. The shoulder muscles, there's only three small ones in there. <coughs> Good work, hold well on. Right hand, left foot, set free, let's go. That's me on five, ten to do on the right. Let's go. To the right foot. One. Strong one, my lefty. Two. Three. 
Not as much surgery on my left. Eight over halfway. Come on. Let's go, Joe. Last five. Working with Hannah. If you're still a Hannah, if you're with me, you've got one set left. Morning, Lisa. Enjoying this one. Thanks, that's for it, Lewis. Morning, Sam. Sally Smith's watching you, Hannah. In. Nice work. Good to see all the uh, challenge mob blog, the free peaks challenge mob blog, free peaks challenge. All the girls that are going to do the free peaks hopefully later on this year in September. <coughs> Got them all tuned in. Training, keeping themselves fit. Good hands, well done. Good effort. Finishing with the dumbbell. So she, Hannah still kept the intensity up there, changed her weight, but just had it ready. Grab and go. Mandy, yeah, tough one, mate. Good effort though. 10 on eight, that's good. Could do more one arm than the other. Yeah, me too, mate. My, uh, my left arm was much stronger than my right arm. Okay, guys, last exercise we're gonna do. I've saved the complicated one to the end. Well, it's called the Turkish get up. Okay, we're going to work together right, on this one. I'm going to do five at a side. Right? So we're only going to do ten in total. Five with the right hand, five with the left hand. In fact, I'm going to start it with no weight at all. Okay? So, you start in the fully laying down position. Okay? And then we're going to call one, the left leg comes up, the left knee comes up, and the right hand comes back. Okay, so one. Okay. I've made a triangle there now my heel or my bum. I'm going to put my right foot through the triangle, that's two. There, okay, and then three. Up. Three movements, and then reverse the put down. One, two, three, back to flat. Okay, we're going to do the first set with no weight at all, but what I want you to do is I want you to raise your left fist. Right, so your left fist is staying up, that's going to replicate the kettlebell that we're going to do on the second set. Okay, we're going to go five, Let's go, one, two, three, and reverse, one, two, three, flat, lovely, and again. Nice work, and down. So that's two reps done, and up, and down. Okay, start, before, now just start watching your hand, I want you to start keeping an eye on your hand, because you're going to have a weight in that in a minute. Yes. Good, last one guys. Good, 
Yeah, change hands. Let's go right hand. Let's do it this way now, so you can see what we're doing front on. Okay, ready? So right hand, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, flat. Good. Two reps done. Three reps done. Okay, keep watching your hand. It's going to come important in a minute. Last one. And up. Nice work. Rest it. Uh, if you go with the three kilogram dumbbell, I'm going to go with the six kilogram kettlebell. Okay, so guys, the first one we'll do that way. The second one we'll do that way. So that's one set done, right? We're going to go up the next set with the weight. Okay, so what you're going to do with the weight is let it sit on the back of your forearm, back of your wrist. Okay, so hand through like so. Okay, really important that you keep looking at it because it will start wandering around <coughs> and doing its own thing. Okay, so when I put my hand back this time, my left knee comes up. This one's in that position already. Okay, ready? Let's go. Well, I did the <laughs> I did the wrong leg. Leg one, and let's go. Up, good. Knee down, hand back, and through, and flat. That's one breath. Cool. That's two. That's three. Good, nice work. Change arms. We'll go front on. Oh, look, we have a daughter. Ready? Land down position then. Back to the right wrist. Okay, and. Let's <laughs> go. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Ah, no, you were laughing at me. Okay, that's one. Two. Interesting. Caroline wants arms like Hannah's. Fair one, mate. Don't you want arms like mine, Caroline? <laughs> Gemma, not feeling coordinated. So, Emma is watching. Stuart, won't be so... <laughs> Stuart, I, I expected you to have tied yourself in knots by now, actually, mate. Okay, ready. Can you imagine us trying to get Brody to do this one? Okay, here we go that way. Trying to go this way. Okay, so left arm starts, isn't it? Okay, so my left arm is up. Okay, it's going to be my left leg that goes up. My right hand that goes back. Let's go. One, two, three. Knee down. One, hand back. Two, leg through. Three. And good. Two done. Rest in. 
Okay, 30 seconds off the last set. I was laughing when I wrote this all up. Uh, this is going to be funny. Not just me doing it. But you lot the other end. Quick drink then, guys, last set. Mmm. Well, I love a bit of powder as well. Blech. Okay. So I'll go side on, left hand. Oh, get yourselves ready. So, my left leg that's going up, it's my right hand that's going back. Make the triangle, let's do the first one by numbers. Let's go one, two, stand, spring, lovely. Shoulders in particular for me, I'm going to stretch that, so I'm going to pull my shoulders back, really get a nice stretch. Pushing my hips forward, really open up your abdominal muscles as well. Good, then push them high up to the sky, and push them up, 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 and like back again a bit further, and up, and back, and just let them hang. Okay, good. Big round stretch. This is trying to wrap your arms around a big tree. Okay, down on your knees, walk your hands forwards, and stretch again through those shoulders. You might all be feeling it in different places, guys. That's where I'm feeling it the most. Hannah, you? Um, yeah, around, around here. Yeah, trapezius muscles. Good, let's stretch the tummy. I felt my work really hard on that today as well, especially if you're engaging it, guys. A bit on the lower back as well. Yeah, you do want to get that. Yeah. Yeah, don't be surprised by that, guys. That's a really good point I just made. A lot of my clients uh, raise the point that they feel on their lower backs. But it does engage those muscles. It's all part of your torso, of your core. And you are going to work those muscles. And if you're someone that's regularly sat behind a desk or sat behind the wheel of a vehicle, those muscles can become a little bit redundant, yeah, lazy. Uh, and then when they do work, um, people are a bit surprised about it. Good. And so we go for the last one, a little bit of quads, a little bit of hamstrings. So you do engage those hammies out on those swings. Yes, when you do squats, expect your legs to burn. When you do bicep curls, you expect your, your arms to burn. But when people do kettlebell, this is a bit of an all over body movement and they start fitting their lower backs like walls and they panic. Okay. Um, I would say a good rule. So no cooking tonight, Back family hit in the morning at 9.30, so nice body weight session with the two entertainers. Good, let's go right leg towards. And then, hopefully that's some clothes. Hopefully that's some clothes on by then, yeah. And then we'll be doing the uh, salmon dish tomorrow night, and hopefully I won't still have your other fingers. Good, so we'll do 20 seconds on this right leg, 20 seconds on that left leg. We'll call it there for the day, guys, it's a good start. Tuesday morning. Really good start. Let's get a change legs. Whoop. And I know not everyone can do them live. If you can get up, make it part of your routine. It's really good to try and maintain that routine in this current situation. 
I know I could quite easily still be in bed. Let's up, get it done. And I just feel that looks more productive now. Good, 10 seconds. Well done, five, four, three, two, rest. Good stuff, guys. If I didn't give you a shout out, I'll try and have a look through the comments again later on. Thank you for joining us this morning. That was kettlebell session number three. Julie, this is so much harder than it looks. I tell you, mate, it is. <laughs> Catch you all later, guys.